I'm Kate Klein from uh, Mechanical Engineering. I'm the department chair for Mechanical Engineering Department, and I approve this recording. Um, so right now we're standing in uh, the sea level corridor that goes between buildings 42 and 32. In the central uh, corridor, we have our um, main elevator shaft as well as stairwell. Uh, we have bathrooms uh, located by the central uh, elevator shaft on every floor. And then we have our sea level laboratories that I'll take you uh, through some of them here. So this is building 32. So on either side of the uh, corridor here, we have posters from uh, various projects from the Introduction to Engineering uh, course, as well as some posters from the different laboratories uh, that show some of the work that's being done in there. So this is the machine shop. Another uh, uh, video will show you more details about that. This is the uh, Bioengineering Biomedical Research Laboratory, uh, otherwise known as the Center for Biomechanical and Rehabilitation Engineering, or CBRE. We have different uh, research posters here on the sides of the walls. And we have our graduate research office for our civil engineering. We have our uh, microscopy and device characterization laboratory here at CO5. And we recently got a uh, um, major research instrumentation grant from NSF to, for a new um, uh, FIB SEM to be installed in that laboratory. This is the mechanical testing uh, laboratory. Mechatronics and Robotics Lab, as well as the Controls uh, and Measurements uh, Laboratory over here. And I'm going to walk you through um, one of our modeling and simulation labs that's used for civil and mechanical engineering. So this laboratory C, uh, CO1A, uh, again, is modeling and simulation and it's used by several of our courses in mechanical and civil engineering. Specifically, I'll speak to uh, mechanical engineering. Uh, it's used for senior design. Um, and then our uh, MEC 107, which is our uh, computer graphics course, as well as MEC 108, which is our programming course. Um, and then also for some of our laboratories like MEC uh, 207, the students will come in here occasionally to do some uh, uh, data, data analysis and graphical work. So this laboratory is outfitted with a projector system. They've just recently installed some of the shielding for our uh, hybrid courses this fall. Um, and we have a projector and whiteboard here. Um, and then we have computer workstations uh, for up to 20 students. We have our fire extinguisher, our um, COVID information, and uh, then the first aid station is on the opposite wall. 